Hello, I'm Chad Sell. I illustrated and co-wrote this book, The Cardboard Kingdom. It's a graphic novel where you'll meet lots and lots of different kids who all create their own cool costumes. Um, today, I'm going to draw the gargoyle. He's sort of a cool superhero character, kind of inspired by characters like Batman and stuff like that. I'm going to try zooming in my camera so you can see my actual sketchbook a little bit better. There we go. Okay. So I'm just going to draw with a simple um, Prismacolor ebony pencil. Um, I'm not going to worry about getting everything perfect. Um, I'm not even going to worry about erasing. So drawing a kid um, who wears a costume like this can be a little tricky. Um, but in general, when I'm drawing someone wearing a costume, I generally draw the kid um, first. So here I'm just going to start with the shape of his head. The top of his head is mostly just a semicircle. Hopefully you can see that. And then um, Seth, the boy who plays the gargoyle, he has sort of um, a flat chin. <laughs> I tried to give every um, kid fairly distinctive features, but we have about 19 characters, so it was a little tricky making sure that everyone looked different. So this is about the shape I usually think of for Seth. Now, generally, I'll start with little dot eyes. I'll draw them in lightly because I might fix them later. I might move them around however I'm feeling. He has a pretty little nose. I think of it being kind of um, a little circle. And obviously that looks kind of funny. But this is the bridge of his nose. And I'll draw it. And... I'm not going to draw it all the way around so it doesn't look like a total like ball, but this just gives a feeling of um, hopefully I can, it makes some sense. And um, I'll give him a nice little smile. He's one of the quieter kids, so he's not going to have his mouth open really loud or shouting or something like that. So I'm going to just make his head a little bit narrower now that I have some basic facial features and I can see that maybe I made his jawline a little too wide. I'm gonna draw these in a little bit darker. Um, I'm gonna just lightly sketch in where I think his ears are gonna be, but we probably won't actually see them once he's wearing his mask. I'm just gonna add, these I think of as sort of the cheeks He's smiling a little bit, so the cheeks rise up a little bit. And then this is about where his eyebrows would be. In a lot of cases, eyebrows are just kind of a nice little simple curve like that. For him, I'll give him a little neck, but maybe I'll add his, um, his cape later. That will be around his shoulders. Most people, um, their chin and jaw will cast a shadow on their neck. And that gives a feeling of, um, of weight and solidity, I think. So I'm not going to worry about his uh, cape a whole lot right now. Um, most of his hair is going to be hidden by his helmet. But I'm just going to sketch in where I think his hair will be in case it shows up. Okay, now Seth actually has fairly spiky hair like this, boop, 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 big triangles. But when he has his helmet on, um, that tends to hide most of it. So with his helmet, his helmet is mostly a box with some holes cut into it and some cool little ears added to it. So let's see, I often start right at his nose. So I know that the bottom of his helmet is basically a big wide triangle and it goes down both ways from the center of his nose. And then from there, it's mostly a square. That makes sense, right? And then somewhere up here, we have the top. And 
something that I'm just going to add a little bit of shadow right there. Now, just a little bit of adjustments. Okay. So now his um, eye holes are more triangles. There's a lot of cool pointy shapes with um, his costume. So in this case, I'm just going to draw the outside edges just to make sure that they're a little ways in from the edges of his mask. And then the bottom edge basically is just parallel to the bottom edge of his mask. And then they meet kind of in the middle. These, this can be a little tricky because they're supposed to be kind of symmetrical, but you don't have to be perfect. With the pencil, I can kind of lightly draw the line where I think it sh should be. And maybe it's not quite right, so I draw it again. And I draw it again darker until I'm pretty happy with it. And if you really needed to, you could erase, but I'm just not going to worry about erasing today. I'm embracing my imperfection. All right, so that is most of his helmet. But if you look at him on the cover of Cardboard Kingdom, you might see that I'm missing something in my drawing. And what's that? It's his ears. And his ears go off to the side, and they're more triangles. I like to make them very long and pointy. I think they're kind of funny looking, but also kind of cool. They are these long triangles. Boop, boop, boop. Do, do, do. And that is pretty much done, I think. Maybe I'll just finesse his chin a little bit more and um, draw in his cape a little bit more. Um, fabric, like his cape, can be very tricky because it's wrapped around um, his shoulders. Uh, I just focus on a lot of kind of um, swooping, curling shapes like this. And then maybe I'll just add a little bit of shadow to give it a sense of solidity. I really like that um, these ebony pencils allow you to get some really nice shadows. And that's the gargoyle. Um, if I were doing a finished piece, I might erase some of these lines here where I was planning out where his head would be. But, you know, I think it looks pretty good and hopefully you do too. So you'll meet Seth the gargoyle in the Cardboard Kingdom, which is available anywhere books are sold and um, you'll meet lots of his friends and see all of their adventures. Thanks for watching, I hope you learned something.